Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Williams. These are your top headlines. The United States has killed one of the most powerful man, men in Iran, a top general, and the consequences of the assassination have been swift. Iran's Grand Ayatollah is vowing revenge and the United States military is sending thousands more troops to the Middle East. The Iranian general and his deputy were killed in a drone strike at Baghdad airport. President Trump speaking in Florida today explaining why he authorized the military strike. The president claims he authorized the attack after the general was caught in the act of, quote, plotting imminent and sinister attacks. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. While the president's supporters praise the decision to take out one of America's most prominent enemies, some Democrats are angry Congress wasn't notified beforehand. Meanwhile, others are wondering if, you, if the United States is on the brink of another war. For the latest information on this situation as it develops, head to our website, sixonyourside.com. Now, the On Your Side forecast. Treasure Valley, here's a look at what you could expect for your high temperatures on Saturday at 6 a.m. We're going to be starting off at 40 degrees, and it's going to stick around until about 10 a.m., where we see a slight increase towards 50, 43 degrees come 12. Now, we're going to see about our high temperature for the day at about 2 p.m. before things start to drop back down. We're going to have mostly cloudy conditions in play for the remainder of the day. A look at our future cast shows us, though, that coming this weekend in our mountains, there's a possibility of some heavy snow coming our way, Maybe even a little bit of a wintry mix here in the valley by that 8 o'clock hour. And then going into Sunday, a second system is pushing its way towards us, bringing tons of snow down towards the most southern part of the state. And then later throughout the day, bringing more mount snow into our mountains and then again here in the valley. Now, depending on our temperatures, we'll decipher whether or not it sticks and it turns into snow or if it just turns into rain. A quick look at that extended forecast shows you, though, that we might be seeing more of that wintry mix, possibly just straight rain because those temperatures are just too warm for Saturday and Sunday. 32 degrees is where we typically see snow sticking. And then Monday and Tuesday, things also looking clear with about a 40% chance moving in on Wednesday with some more snow.